Hi, this is Bruce Bear, author of the PAPath.com. I am making this video in response to the many requests I have about prerequisite, prerequisites for PA programs. Here is what I want you to know. You can come here to the Physician Assistant Education Association. I just googled Association of PA Programs. You click on Member Programs and it brings up a map here in the middle. Here it comes, right here. You click on the state you, that you want to find PA programs in. I'm clicking on Texas. All right, you saw Texas turn pink, and then here are all the programs in Texas. So if you want to know where there are p programs in your state, click on those and enter their names into Google. Now, if you want to know how the programs in your state rank, here are the two, 2007 rankings, which really haven't changed much over the last three years. Here's 1 through 23. Any of these schools are a good school. I pr uh, personally prefer schools that are associated with a medical school. I think you get a better education. That's a personal bias, not something that's been established by research. You can see that Iowa, Duke, and Emory are 1, 2, 3. So I've chosen to show you Duke first. That's my alma mater. So if you want to go to the Duke program, learn more about applying to the program. You apply here. Right here is prerequisites, okay? So home, admissions, prerequisites. And here you have Duke's prerequisites, which are a bachelor's degree, a bunch of tough courses that you better have some good grades in, Take the GRE and get a good score. Get a thousand hours of direct patient care experience. Sorry, drug reps, it's not going to work. Here's Iowa's program. Here are the prerequisites of the Masters of uh, Physician's Assistant Science, I think is what MPAS stands for here. And if you want to know what they want you to have, you click on that little link. And this gives you examples of upper level and lower level courses. You got to have stats. You got to have a bunch of courses here. You have to have organic chemistry one, and probably two. You have to have introductory uh, biochemistry or general biochemistry. You have to have uh, lower level chem one and two. So this gives you an idea about what you need, where to find more information, and how to know what you need before you apply. There are schools with lesser and schools. I don't think there are any schools with greater. Um, requirements or prerequisites and remember that this is really competitive. These top 23 schools probably each get 500 or more applicants for 30 to 60 positions. So get your ducks in a row people. I hope this helps you. I'm going to post this on the Squidoo Lens on the PA Path. It'll be on YouTube and I'll send it out over TubeMogul. Alright, good luck on your PA Path.